Hello, lovelies. It's time for that beautiful, fun, frolicking crystal grid making. <laughs> so in this video, we'll be going through how to create your crystal grid. Now, when I make suggestions, just remember that this is a guideline. So if your intuition says to do something different, absolutely, please try something different because this is your intuitive kit and one person's view on it is not the same as everybody else's. So let's get started. So you're going to want, of course, your crystal grid. Uh, in this one, you notice that there are multiple layers and dimensions to this. So we have the pyramid right here, or this is actually a six pointed star, interestingly enough. So you have six main points and then you have supporting points. So as we move into the sacred geometry of this, you're gonna notice these two points have a strength pillar. So you also have a square. And so the idea here is that you can utilize all six points, which is what I'm gonna showcase. However, if you feel like you wanna shift gears and you maybe need more strength, then I would do the pyramid. If you need more feminine strength, you're gonna do the pyramid with the triangle pointing down. So just like that right there. Uh, you're gonna go on that line. If you feel like you need more strength reaching upwards towards the heavens, you'll do a pyramid pointing up and that's more of the masculine side. Or maybe you need masculine support, then you would also do it that way. Um, but for this video, we're gonna be focusing on the six points. So point one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so you'll want all of your crystals. And in this video, you can burn your incense while starting. And then you have the opportunity to cleanse your jar. And I really love it because look at what it does. It's just so cool. The smoke stays inside. I know it's the little things. Um, so you can cleanse your jar while you're creating your kit, if you would like. And you have an option here. You can choose to make your crystal grid from your kit uh, before you make your spell jar, or you can choose to make your spell jar first and incorporate it as part of your crystal grid. Um, I personally like creating the grid first and then moving into the next video where you will create your jar um, and then applying the jar to the grid after you've already set it and created that intention because you usually know what it is you're trying to move through in your life. Usually we know what it is we're challenged by. Um, if you don't, then I'm sure in some of these later videos, you will discover it. <laughs> so we're going to start out with our grid and you'll notice there is the moon in here. You have the spirals and it's about using that intuition to help us to know what we're being guided towards, what we're being nudged to, what maybe we haven't allowed ourselves to see um, whether it's seeing the beauty of it or seeing how there's blessings in the challenges we've been facing. What is it that your intuition has been trying to say? Because as much as this is a clearing kit, it's also an intuition opening kit, obviously. Okay, so we're going to start out laying our grid and you can place it in a common space like my fireplace here, or you can place it by your bedside. Um, if there's a specific area of your life that you're trying to set intention in, you can place it in a center of your room that represents that area. So if you're familiar with feng shui, there's nine energy centers and you just pick one of those energy centers. And I feel like somebody's going to need this. So I'm going to go ahead and share. So if you draw a tic-tac-toe through your room, so down, down, across, across, you have nine squares okay the square with the door is the front so if my door's right here this is where i start if my door's right here this is where i start um so with the door being right here the center square is your career so if you're focused on enhancing um clearing of the career so maybe relationships that were business relationships gone bad or struggling with coworkers, you're going to put your grid in that career section to the right is going to be your helpful people. So angels, helpful friends, new people coming into your life are people who already exist to help you. So if you're needing some help and support, you put your grid in the bottom right corner. Bottom left corner is wisdom. So if your clarity and maintaining this clear sense of thinking and your intuition is to gain information or wisdom or move forward on a project, go ahead and do it in the wisdom section. The next row, so if we're on the far left 
going up one. So we're pretending there's three squares. I didn't plan on sharing this and my intuition says I'm supposed to, so that's why I'm sharing. <laughs> so right here on the left is going to be your family and ancestors. So if you need something around that, the center is your health and wellness. The far right center is going to be your creativity and your children and your musical gifts. So any of those areas, it's all the same corner. And then top row, you have three sections. The top right is your relationships, specifically romantic relationships. The center is your what you're known for, your passion, your identity, the way others see you, your fame. And then the far left is your money and wealth. So that will give you an idea of where to place it in your home. Okay, so now where to place your crystals. So if you watch the video where we went through each of the different items in the kit, you will already have some of this information. So the Shiva Lingam is going to be your sacral and your sexual side. So that one we want at the bottom point because that is the symbol of the feminine womb. That's a symbol for the sacral chakra. Um, if you don't have a womb, it's okay. You still put it at that base because that's your whole pelvis and your support system. Um, and then that's going to invite in alignment with that support foundation. It's also going to help to purge any ancestral things. Okay, then our next one is the Argonite. And if you remember, this is the earth stone. So it's very grounding and it's the mother earth. So we're putting it on the left side point. Okay, because the left is the feminine. All right, and then next we have our Nephrite Jade. So Jade is luck and good fortune and um, all of that prosperity and especially the cleansing of the heart. And so for that one, we are going to put it right above on the next point on the top left. So we started Shiva Lingam and then we did our Argonite and then Nephrite Jade goes right up here. And then at the very tippity top. Well, actually we'll move over to the other side. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so then we're going to put a little bit of patience. So the next stone is our Kumbab of Jasper with the little polka dots. And that's going to go at the bottom right on the masculine side, because this is our patience. And we were like, action, 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 action. And we want focused action, inspired action. So we're going to add some patience and some grounding to that lower right side. Next, we have our serpentine. And so this is the snake medicine. This is the moving up and flowing through and shifting and the cleansing of that heart space. So we want it a little bit higher than the lower chakras. And so we're going to put it on the right top corner. Next, we have our hematite which is our protection, but also understanding the law of karma. And everything you put out eventually comes back to you. And sometimes we suffer because we haven't paid attention or listened, or maybe we have our own bad karma coming. So, which never feels good. <laughs> and so this one, you have a choice. Um, if you feel like you need to see the full circle, definitely put it right here in the center of the eye, right there in the middle, okay? If you feel like you do see the full circle and what you need is protection in your thoughts and moving forward, you're gonna put it right there on the very top. So right up here. So that's if you, nope, I understand the full circle. I feel like I have the vision. I just need support in my vision and I need to remain grounded while I move forward. That's gonna be the top because that's where you're going and that's a strength point if you're doing the triangle. Strength goes on top. Okay, and then I'm gonna put mine on top and then we have our crystal ball Ooh, of all the witchy things. Of course we needed a crystal ball. Um, so this is really powerful because you can use this um, while you are meditating and gazing. Sometimes it's really hard to sit and close our eyes and meditate, right? And so allowing ourselves to have the safe space to focus on something else can sometimes be really beneficial. So you're gonna place the, first the stand over that eye and it's really cool because if you look at mine, I'll hold it up to the light, you can actually still see through it. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay. Um, and I like to do mine in a diamond shape 
just because there's a diamond around it and I love the rippling effect. So, and then you're gonna place that crystal ball right over the top, just right in the center. So there is my grid set up. Now you're probably wondering, well, what about the selenite moon? So this you can use to purify all of the crystals on the grid, and you can also use it to hold the space, um, in which case I would put it here at the top. Or if you're feeling like you just need to cleanse the past mostly, then you would put it at the bottom. So anything going away from you is the future. Anything coming towards you is usually the past. And so north and south, right? And so I could put it at the bottom and then you can put um, messages and notes and little pieces of magical things like I find feathers. When, when I was looking for the rose petals, I had a white feather in with the rose petals from my garden that's in your kit. And so I would take one of those white feathers and I would place it here in the selenite bowl. And then um, any rings you're wearing, you can drop into that selenite bowl if you choose to wear it versus having it here in your kit. Now, if you choose to wear your ring, you could replace the hematite at the center point with your moon as well, because that selenite is going to cleanse and purify your path. And then once you get your beautiful spell jar created, you can set that, oh, I have two rings on. You can set that in the center of your hematite ring or just right on top of it. So hematite ring, right on top in the center, because that's gonna amplify and protect every intention you put into that jar. And if you haven't made your jar yet, you get to go make it and then place it in the crystal grid. And I recommend holding it and having it handy so that you can remember your intention that you're setting with it. As you put your jewelry, for example, I could take my turquoise and put it in my little moon dish and it can charge and clean, but as it does, I'm going to see my crystal grid and I'm gonna remember that intention because it's more about holding intention than anything else. And having these crystals help support you, holding that intention helps us to feel like we can get what we actually want and we know what we actually want and we know exactly how to make it come into our lives because we're no longer bombarded with everybody else's energy and medicine and confusion. So I love you. Happy crystal grid making. Happy ball gazing <laughs> and I'm curious if you as you gaze into it a lot of times you move a little bit things will shift um, especially putting your candle so this is the candle to dip our wax in even placing it near uh, the crystal ball the fire will go through the crystal ball and it will change what you see and sometimes we can intuitively see things that will give us extra guidance and clarity so this has been so much fun to make thank you for joining me I love you guys. See you in the next video.